Hey everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and I'm happy making this video. I'm glad you're joining me and I hope you're having a lovely day. So, for around three weeks almost, um, I've been eating what started off as a fruitarian diet, but I'm a flexible fruitarian, um, which means I eat a raw vegan and a fruitarian diet typically, but after two weeks of fruitarian, I started in the Irish winter craving some heavier foods that are dense. So I started naturally listening to my body instinctively. And I started having some, if you, one day I had a few nuts, but generally what I switched to heavier was avocados. So I went from a fruitarian diet, mostly of the last few months, typically. Um, I went through a two month phase of eating cooked foods because I was going through some emotional detox and shit, big changes in my life. So food acted as a sort of distraction or a sedator or a slower down of an energetic emotional release, which was a healing phase for me. Um, so today and the last few days, I've been basically just eating a fruitarian diet, but I am flexible. So, you know, I don't want to be eating really good, but sad or lonely. And one of the things that I found is most important in life these days is community or what, what you could also call friends or family. Feeling a sense of belonging and togetherness with other human beings and having that fulfillment and need met. So I do have like vegan hot chocolates or vegan chai lattes when I go outside to socialize. And I like that. It breaks up the day, but it's a like part of social outlet of meeting people. So Andrea says much love. Thanks, Andrea. And hello, Greg Richardson. Nice to see you too. So today, basically, basically speaking, what are my staples are these days? I, I generally always have bananas or dates in. Um, green peel de sapo melons. I have yellow melons and I have, I get by mangoes and avocados. And basically speaking, if you want to eat raw food in winter, I, I sometimes warm, put my melons on the radiators so they warm up as, and my mangoes. And another thing you want to do is you want to like bring some, some food with you or eat before you go out because you don't want to be under, under carb or under calorie and then you want to crave old food. So overall, I have to say everyone, I'm going to get to the, the juicy point. And the juicy part is I feel kick ass overall. I feel like my brain is living in a more natural medit meditative state of brainwave frequency. Basically speaking, I live more like meditation. I'm more calm and relaxed and I ought I also have lots more energy, generally speaking. I have a more continuous stream of constant, reliable energy throughout the day, into the evening time also. Sleep is generally better by a little bit, and um, it's more restful and undisturbed. And overall, I need less sleep. And when I do get less sleep, I can cope better. It's like I have more reserve energy. Um... I'm filtering better as in like the, the sediment in my pee is getting a bit better, you know, like it's it's good. So my kidney, adrenal and lymphatic system is working better. Let's put it that way. I'm also the best part of why I like to eat this way is because I feel happier in life, everyone. Just better emotional well-being and happiness and joy. You're also more likely to feel more love. At least I do. It supports my spiritual growth, my expansion and development as a human being. And that's what I'm all about. I'm all about balanced, harmonious, happy, enjoyable living, everyone. So this isn't the struggle. It's easy for me. And when I go out to socialize, I don't care what people are eating because I don't go out to socialize with people for food. I'm going out to socialize and I'm very content with my drinking chocolate or chai latte that are vegan milk like soya or almond or sometimes coconut. But usually I go for almond or maybe soya. So today I went to, today's Sunday and I went to a meditation at 11 o'clock in the morning. It's a common grounds meditation in Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland. I'm one of the youngest, basically speaking, loads of people in the 40s and 50s and even 60s. And I like mature people who are more, have experience in life. I like people who have some depth and character and they're not lost in the superficiality of life, like how you look, how your hair is and talking about like all, like, all stuff that I find somewhat immature and boring and basic. I've gone beyond that in my life and I'm at a stage where I love people, friends, family, community and children and I'm looking forward to having my own family and children more in the future, which I know I will and I think like some psychics have always just generally saying that they, they see this happening for me and it makes sense because it's, it's in my deep desire vibrational field 
which Abraham called your vibrational ex- escrow. Zimunk Kasha says, hello, Owen. Hi, hi, Zimunk. So, yeah, um, overall, like the reason why I eat raw food is because one, I know it heals and strengthens the body. Like I have more energy to exercise and I recover faster. Um, but because it's so cold, I've been wanting more calories from fats because fats insulate and protect your nervous system from such an intense like cold winter in Ireland. So I, I am, I'm very flexible, um, but I do like to stick to all raw except for the drinks, which doesn't make any difference for me, really. I'm way happier, everyone. You've got more peace of mind, more happiness, more love, better creativity, like sharper, crystal clearer thoughts and inspiration coming from my crown chakra or from my 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 brain, whatever way you want to call it. I feel I just feel better, everyone. It's so worth it. I really I really feel the benefits of raw food and simple eating is tremendous. Like all animals are very healthy and vigorous. They all eat raw foods. They don't use salt and don't use spices. The simpler your meal and the lower the amount of ingredients, like three or four. Like today I had a salad, I just ate it on the go. I just ate it from the chopping board. I, had, I was just simply chopping tomatoes into quarters. Delicious, so juicy and sort of sweet because I was having it with avocado and celery. Today I actually had spinach and celery, which is the first greens or salad that I've had in ages. Usually I have chlorella or spirulina. Or in the past I eat the super greens from my shop, com, But I don't have any of that open at the moment. Questions invited, everyone. I'm go- Z Monk asks, do you eat meals or just fruits during the day at will? I just eat at will, listening to my body when I feel like it. And I'm very self-aware of if my body's wanting, what it's wanting. Like, does it want something heavier and denser and fattier, like avocados or potentially nuts, which I ate today. I had some Brazil nuts. Or do I feel like other fruits like melon and mango and bananas and dates? So... I feel if a tip for a raw food, if you're starting, make sure you get enough avocados, dates and bananas. They're, they're dense and high in calories and they help slow down detox, which the more you detox, the more you crave. So it's very essential to have those three as a staple, potentially even nuts if you feel like it too. So, um, yeah, I also like to have Epsom salt or baking soda baths with essential oil as part of my health regime because it's not just about food. One thing I've learned, everyone, you consume not just by what you swallow, you consume in what you look at in the media, in the newspaper, or the television or your YouTube, what you look at in live Facebook videos, what you look at in life, what you consume and what you keep looking at the most, you keep consuming and you get into a habit. So if you keep looking at bread, if bread is all over the place in your house, you're going to start wanting and thinking about bread all the time. Similarly, so another recommendation for eating more raw foods is out of sight, out of mind, put into sight what you want to eat. What you focus on expands. What you think about, you bring about. It's very powerful and true, everyone. This is, the, this is the foundational creative force of life, your mind. So what you keep looking at and consuming with your eyes, I can eat food with my nose. You can smell the food. Like I, I can smell a coffee today. Um, I even had my first coffee in, in, like, in like months, probably. I had a half-strength decaf organic coffee in a lovely Italian restaurant. And I had a, the best hot chocolate. Really dark, vegan, hot chocolate made in soya. Thank you, Z-Monk says. Thank you for your answer. Thanks, Z-Monk, for your appreciation. I, I appreciate that too. Lindsay says, the more raw food you eat, the purer your soul. I definitely agree. Raw food kicks ass. I highly recommend everyone trying out a vegan or, or at least a vegetarian. Going into vegan for sure. Highly recommend veganism over vegetarianism. And definitely would recommend raw food over vegan, cooked veganism. It's just try it for yourself. See how you feel. And then... Um, Another thing that's so important, everyone, is listening to your body and having balance. So for me, I used to always overdo everything. I used to not know when to stop and not know when to slow down. So these days, not only am I one listening to my body, but what I want to eat, because after 11 days, I craved heavier food. And I listened to it and I felt great. I also have less mucus. I like just, just like, you know what I mean? Like less mucus and clearer sinuses and clearer breathing. That's definitely a huge advantage too, I've noticed. I'm slowly... Um, rebuilding my body and the musculature too because you faster recover and you more energy so um yeah i really love this like type of way of living it's it's in alignment with nature and animals in the wild as far as i'm concerned and the best advantage is you just feel more creative and inspired and happier and joyful so i've covered in this video different stuff like socializing and how to start a raw food diet more 
um, how to eliminate cravings and um, the fact that diet and lifestyle, diet is, is more to life than, than diet and we need to have our spirituality and healing and expansion as a priority. Our mind is the number one most important thing in life because that creates everything including your diet and your relationships and your physical body. So get enough but not too little or not too much sleep, rest and recovery, relaxation and exercise body movement not too much but not too little keep things going in the flow of what's naturally called to your body don't copy what other people do do what brings you happiness and contentment and enjoyment and joy so listen to your body listen to your heart listen to your soul listen to what's being called within you in life and regarding general like lifestyle and diet okay you're going to be happy and the objective of my video is to make you happier not to switch your diet to anything particular to find a more energetic joyful spirited life and soul okay a more content and fulfilled connected uh, life with other people who uplift you a sense of community so make sure you make friends connect with your family see the see the meaning of everything because everything happens for a reason and everyone comes into your life for a reason so i've i've gone beyond forgiveness forgiveness is like like a lower level than, than than like bloody seeing the bigger picture i'm in like radiating bursting joy and gratitude and love for all of my past soul lessons in my life all the past people who've entered and all the ex-girlfriends too and all the hard experiences too i love it and i appreciate it and i honor it deep down in my soul for the sole purpose that it served when you can do that you can help s switch diet easier also because you're not carrying baggage and you're thriving inside Just li listen to private messages or public messages. Greg says, don't forget to laugh. I'm big about laughter. I laugh all the time. <laughs> of course, lightheartedness and finding relief with your mind and not being so serious and seeing the sole purpose will all help you to find less stress, way less anxiety and depression. Stop imagining what you don't want because what anxiety is basically keep imagining what you don't want. What you think about, you bring about, you're going to think about, you're going to bring about a physiological response that doesn't serve you, stress in your body. Yeah, nature, deep breathing, fun, happiness, joy, laughter, love. These are nourishment for your soul. We get energy from all of these deep, meaningful things. It's not just what we swallow. So I love essential oils. I love people. I love nature. I love love. I love laughter. I like singing. Yesterday I was in nature for quite a long time. My, my really tremendous friend called Leila. And we were hanging out and singing and playing on the swing. And we're singing together. It was such good fun and soulful. Very nurturing. I'd, and today I was like walking on the promenade, like beside the ocean. And then um, tomorrow I'm going to go up right ahead the mountain again by the sea. And I'm going to go out with my mum and have some chai latte in the Happy Pear and Greystones, which is one of my favourite places to go. It's such a nice place with children, birds, families and animals. Okay, everyone. Enough said in this video. I hope you wish you all the best. And then... Um, Love, live, laugh, carpe diem, because this day will never repeat ever again. So make the most of every single day. And just know that you are special. There's nobody like you in the world. And no one has your fingerprints. And no one can copy or emulate you. You're one of a kind. And the greatest gift that you could ever give or be is to be yourself and to share yourself with the world authentically, genuinely. No need to copy, no need to pretend. You're perfect and we're all good enough as we are. So keep shining and everything's okay and everything's going to kick ass in the future. We all have better things than we can imagine coming to us. So don't be fixated on like one particular person is perfect for you or whatever, or one particular job or home or event. Know that the future and your higher self knows what's, what's beautiful and be better for you than you can imagine with your mind. So just be open to all possibilities. Be flexible and patient and trust and, and pray and keep staying in the vortex of connecting to your inner being, your truth. Enjoy happiness, love, gratitude, fun, play and appreciation. Keep singing, whistling and connecting with community and you're going to thrive. Focus on your mind is the most important thing and one of the most important things is also what you consume with all of your senses, including the food too. Okay, have a nice day everyone, lots of love and thanks for watching and take care.